Hello everybody. In this Python tutorial, we're going to go over how to pull in or load CSV file data so that you can work with it in your Python programs. So for example, you can pull in data in a CSV file to be analyzed or to create charts and graphs and all that good stuff. And the CSV file extension is .csv and that stands for comma separated values. Now one thing to note, you can also pull in txt files and we'll go over that here in just a second. So if you're on a Mac, to create a CSV file, you can go to your numbers spreadsheet application, create your data, and then you go to file, export to, and then CSV. If you would like to create a plain text txt file, you can go to pages, create your data, and again, you go to file, export to and plain text. Now if you're using a Windows machine, I believe you can use Excel to create a CSV file and possibly you can use Word or Notepad to create TXT files. Now one last thing to note, and this is important, once your files have been created, you need to put those files in your working directory or the path that your Python editor or IDE uses because if those files are not in the correct path, then your editor or IDE won't be able to find them and pull in that data, okay? So for example, we're using the spider IDE and the working directory or path that we are using for our files is right here. So the data for our examples is in the users folder and then the home folder and then the documents folder and then in the Python code files folder. Okay, so just make sure that you put your files that you have created in the correct path that will allow your Python editor or IDE to pull in that data. So now let's show you an example of the files that we will be using and how the data is set up. Okay, so we will be working with three files. This file here, CSV data, then another file called CSV data numpy, and then a CSV plain text.txt file. These two are CSV files, and this is a .txt file. So let's go ahead and open up this first example. And this should open up in the numbers spreadsheet application. And you can see in this case, the data setup is very simple. We have two columns of data. This column here is what we will use for our x-axis values and this column here is what we will use for our y-axis values. Now in your code you can change that but for our examples we'll just keep it real simple. Another thing to note when you create this data it's probably better not to have any empty cells like this. So just put your data in and then get rid of the empty cells. And then once you're ready to convert that, you want to go to File, Export to, CSV, choose the CSV and hit Next, and then follow the instructions and save the file. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that. Okay, so that's a quick look at what the data will look like once it's pulled in. Our other CSV file data will look like this. And our txt file data will look like this. Okay, so now let's go over our code. The first thing we did is that we imported several modules or extensions. We imported the CSV module. Then we imported matplotlib.pyplot. And we imported the numpy extension. In our first example, we created code to import the CSV data and display the data. So this code here will open up and pull in the data. And inside open, here, we put the name of the file. And then we say as CSV file. This code here will loop through that data and read it. And then we use a print statement here to display the data. So let's quickly go back to the file and take a look at the values that were in that file. So for our x-axis, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And our y-axis, we have 2, 4, 1, 5, 7. Now let's go ahead and select this code and print it to the console and we should get those values. You can see we get x-axis values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and y-axis values 2, 4, 1, 5, 7. Okay, so that's just a simple example of how you can pull in and open up the data, loop through it and read it and then display it. For our second example, we want to import the CSV data and then plot it on a chart or graph. 
So the first thing we did here is we created two empty lists and we're going to use these lists to append the values of our data to create our x and y axis values. Here we have created a list of some label names that we'll use here in just a little bit. Again this code here pulls in and opens up the data. Here we have created a variable to read the data and note one thing different here versus our code here is we have specified a delimiter. Now in this case, I don't necessarily think that we need this delimiter. However, sometimes you will need this delimiter for your code to work. Next, we used our for loop to loop through the data and read it. And then this code here will append the values of that data to our x and y axis value lists that we created up here. Okay, so here we're going to append the values that pertain to the x-axis and put them in a list. And here we're going to append the values that pertain to the y-axis and put them in a list. Now a couple notes on this code here. If you don't cast the i, the i that we use for our loop here to iterate through, if you don't cast that as an integer, some of your options won't work, such as assigning labels to the x-axis. Okay, so that's one note. The next thing to note is that this subscript syntax here allows you to pull in the proper values and assign them to the proper axis. Okay, so let's show you an example. Here we have a print statement to display the values that are currently in the x and y axis values lists. Okay, so let's select part of our code, including this print statement, to see what's currently in our x and y value lists. Okay, so you can see over here in the console, for the x-axis values, we currently have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And for the y-axis values, we have 2, 4, 1, 5, 7. Now, if we swap the values in these subscripts here and here, so let's put a 1 here and a 0 here, and we print this to the console, and then you compare the values here and here, you can see that the x and y values were swapped. Now let's go ahead and change that back because we want the first column in our data to be the x values and the second column to be the y values. Okay, so moving on. Then for this code here, we use the plt.plot to plot the x and y axis values. Then we use plot.title to give the graph a title. Then we use plot.xticks to put in our labels for the x axis here and we created our label names here and then we use plot.show to show the graph so let's clear our console select our code and run it and you can see we get the values for our x and y axis and here we get a line plot okay so to do a quick recap on the code we created some empty lists for our x and y values we created some labels we opened up and pulled in our csv file data we used a for loop to loop through the data and read it then we took the data from the csv file and put it into our x and y axis value lists and then we used that data to create a line plot now before we move on let's go back up to our first example and i just wanted to show you that you can load text file data in as well so originally we used this csv file now let's replace that with our txt file data so we'll just put that text file name in right here let's go ahead and select our code and run it and you can see we get the txt file data with the x values of 1 2 3 4 5 and the y values of 2 3 7 9 2 so if we go back to our text file, take a quick look, you can see that it's pulling in the correct values. Now let's move on to our last example. In this example, we want to import CSV data using the NumPy module. Okay, so the first thing we did here is we created two variables to house our X and Y axis values. Next, we use the NumPy extension. We use a dot to access the load text. And inside the round brackets, we specify the name of the file that we want to pull the data in from. Then we specify the delimiter. And in this case, we use a comma. And then we set the unpack argument to true. Now, a couple of notes on this. If you take this delimiter out, this code will not work. So in this case, make sure you include the delimiter. And the next thing to note is that 
this unpack argument needs to be set to true, and this is so the x and y values can be properly assigned, okay? Here we have a print to display the x and y axis values. Here we access the matplotlib pyplot dot plot. We put in our x and y values. This code right here in the single quotes specifies how the data will be shown and in this case it will just show up as red circles and then we created a label for our legend. Then we use plot.xlabel to give the x-axis a title. Here we've given the y-axis a title. Here we use plot.title to give the graph a title. This allows us to show the legend. Finally we use plot.show to show the plot of the data. So let's go ahead and select our code and run it. And you can see over here, this shows the x and y axis values. And here we have our graph. Now let's go back over to our plot here and show you that if you take out that RO and then run it again, you get a normal line graph. Or if you just wanted to show a different symbol, you could put that back in like that select it and run it again, and now you get red X's showing the data points. Okay, so those are a few ways that you can pull in data from CSV files and then begin to work with that data. That's all we have for this tutorial, and we'll be doing many more Python tutorials in the near future. Join us for those, and we'll see you next time.